Now, the day he was elected speaker, I was among the first people he called. He used to call me Osu. He said, Osu, Kuroboya, he said, he got sweat after being announced as deputy speaker. He said, he started shaking, saying, what have I gotten myself into? Then he said, anyway, I calmed down. Because even us, we were in shock. You know, they say there's a queue in Uganda. But I think God has his own queue. And I believe he was po possibly going to continue elevating Jacob. Who knows? Today, I got a call from Honorable Tim Luanga. And the way he spoke made me conclude that it is not only the lumpens on social media who have suspicions about how Jacob died. The Honorable Tim Luanga is not a lumpen. By any stretch of the imagination, he's an accomplished gentleman who has achieved a lot, and he was like an elder brother to Jacob. Jacob succeeded him as chair of the parliamentary breakfast in parliament. So he said, I have been very angry. Who killed Jacob? I want to know who killed Jacob. Because I heard Jacob's father talking about poison. Until after talking to you, now I'm relieved. So, Mr. Chief Justice, there are many serious Ugandans who are still angry. It will take time for, for them to come to terms. But again, like I said yesterday, I don't want to talk about what I don't know. There's uh, so many conspiracy theories. Finally, we have a choice, like I said. Either to focus on talking about the negatives, responding to those who are having negative energy, or we celebrate Jacob's life. For me, I've chosen that we should celebrate Jacob's life. Because that's the life, that's the life that many Ugandans would want I wish to welcome the Right Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda. You're most welcome, Madam. So, let's celebrate this life. I'm a fighter. I, I can also insult, and my insults can really hurt. But I've declared a short ceasefire. I'll be back. Let me first mourn my brother and friend, lay him to rest. Then those who want to roll in the mud, as Jacob used to say in line with the certain song, Why Dava? Why Dava means we will roll up to the mud. We, we leave the dust, we go in the mud. I have not yet reached the mud. Let us celebrate this life. People will talk. You can't stop talking. But the Uganda government needs to think about how to deal with the young generation that is so lawless, so unguided, so disrespectful. I want to thank some, someone special, my fellow Munamawanga, my friend Frank Gashumba of the Bavandimwe. Frank Gashumba has not put on his gloves in these fights. He has gone native. When I talked to him earlier, I said, these people fear you. He said, because they know. He said, now, the, the, the thing is, Kwevuma. Kwevuma means you now insult from the toe up to the tip of the head. You insult everybody part until they realize... He then he said, but why do they say they are hurt when we insult them? Don't they think others are hurt when they are ins they're insulting them? So, there must be a line drawn about this kind of things. For me, I, I, I believe that if I'm opposing somebody, I should oppose their ideas and their policies. I don't oppose them as a person. Of course, I have been the most insulted these days. But I don't mind. My skin is one mile thick. 
So I, I don't mind. But I fear for those who are pretending now. The same people who are demonstrating that Olanya should not get treatment are now saying, oh, our loved Olanya has been killed. So do you really love him or you are playing some game? But we will get back to that because I know something I'm going to say. Because Jacob's struggle must continue to make sure that we live in Uganda as brothers and sisters and that Jacob has more reason to hate President Museveni than many of the people yapping. If it was a personal thing, he would have more reason. Because, you know, the NRA guns ruined his village. The helicopters bombed his village. His people were in IDP camps. He has many reasons. But now you hear people, the way they talk, we should reconcile as Ugandans. So I hope Jacob's death will reconcile us. This business of tribalism. Me, my mother is from Isinjiro in Ankole. My father is from Acholi. I, my mother left me when I was eight months old. I was brought up by a Muganda woman. My mother was called Namiro. She taught me the Luganda language, which I speak. I even have a plantation in Buikwe, in a place called Chiriowa, near Bukaya. Yes, I studied in Busoga. And uh, also in uh, Buganda, in Namiliango. Yes. So, we have intermarried in this country. Yes, my father died in UPC. Though in that year, you know, that year I was supporting the former Prime Minister, Mama Mbabazi. So my father called me and said, now my son, you know, it's now difficult. Why are you bringing me a photocopy? <laughs> the original is there. <laughs> he said that President Museveni is the original and uh, the right on of a because is the photocopy. He had actually vowed to part ways with me. He was threatening to vote for the original rather than the photocopy. That's how honest some of these old school politicians are. So, we must contain this hatred. We must silence those voices. Let us disagree. Let us disagree and say, I'm hearing people saying, I disagreed with the right honorable Anya. Sometimes, fundamentally. I really want those people to tell me what was the fundamental disagreement. If, if uh, somebody is supporting another president and you are supporting another, or you want to be president, is that a fundamental disagreement? I think politics should be a competition on who, should, who can serve Ugandans better, not to struggle for life. Now you hear our photos are being put on Twitter, that the, that the, the songs of uh, Kafero are being played, that let these people die a painful death. They should die while yelling. They should die while gr gr gnashing their teeth. I want to tell you, shame upon you. Jacob died very peacefully. He did not die crying. He did not die gnashing his teeth. And you will never achieve 10% of what he has achieved. Now that's the most painful part. Thank you. Thank you, right honorable prime minister. The government of Uganda deserves praise for doing its best to save Jacob's life. Therefore, but... I appeal to the government to address this issue of fake news and uh, promoting negative propaganda. We were told, now me, they said Mao is a broker, that me, I was paid a huge sum of money to go and sanitize things, that Jacob died three weeks ago, that uh, their ritual is going to be carried out by witch doctors and those who killed Jacob, and so on. And you find, when a serious person is talking, very few people are listening. But when those rumor mongers are talking, 
Facebook is full. Now, the, the mind, dear mourners, is like a, a garden. You can either put there good crops or you can leave it for weeds. I'm afraid, Honorable Minister Variomancy, you're in charge of ICT and information. The weeds are overtaking the genuine crops. You will quote me one day. When the weeds have overrun you, yet the genuine crops are there. I thank you very much.